Hello, my name is David Mello. I'm the supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library, and I welcome you to our celebration of Children's Book Week, May 3rd through the 7th. Now, in other times, we would have classrooms and daycares and families visiting the library to share stories written and illustrated by a wealth of wonderful authors and, and artists that are out there. But these are different times, so we're coming into your home to share these tales. And to do so, we have some familiar faces from the community who will be sharing these stories with you. And if you enjoy the stories, we hope to see you at the library by giving us a call at 508-324-2700, extension 4, and scheduling a visit. And then you can check out these wonderful stories and all the other wonderful books that we have to offer. We'll be seeing you at the library. Hey boys and girls, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Today I am Mr. Mello's special guest to read a story. Now, as you know, I'm a superhero. I wasn't born with my superpowers. I was bit by a radioactive spider. But at that point, I kind of knew what I wanted to do with my superpowers when I got them. Now, this is a story about a little girl who wants to find out what her superpower is. So in this story, Let's see if she finds out what it is. The story is called, What's My Superpower? And it's written by Aviak Johnson and illustrated by Tim Mack. And it's published by Inhabit Media. It's a pretty, like, I know I have a pretty pretty cool costume, but don't you think she has a pretty cool costume as well? She has a really cool sidekick. I don't have one of those. So, in a little house in the very middle of a small town where winter is always longer than summer, a little girl named Nelvana lived with her mother. Nelvana loved everything about her small town. She loved the quiet roads with lots of space to play hide and seek and tag and street hockey. She loved to ride her bike without worrying about cars coming down the road like big monsters. There she is playing on her bike with her dog. Anana, Nelvana said to her mother one day, if I had a superpower, I could fight big monsters, you know? Yes, Panik, her mother replied as she stroked Nelvana's hair. Do you think I'll ever have a superpower? Nelvana asked. I don't know, Panik. Maybe, her mother said with a smile. Nelvana always thought about what it would be like to have superpowers. Everywhere she went, she wore a yellow cape made from a blanket and a pair of snowmobiling goggles resting on her head. There's her costume right there again. On the first day of school, Nelvana was in gym class when a boy named Davidi ran into the gym so quickly he was just a blur. All the other kids tried to erase him, but he was faster than all the kids in the class. Davidi, you have a superpower! Nelvana excitedly told him. You can run faster than a skidoo. Do you think that's true? Davidy asked her, beaming. I know it's true, said Nelvana. But I wonder what my superpower is. Nelvana went home after school and told her mom all about Davidy. He was so fast, he almost burned the floor of the gym, Nelvana told her. He was like the wind on a blizzardy day. Wow, he really must have super speed, her mother replied. If Davidy has a superpower, does that mean that I can have a superpower too, Nelvana asked. 
I'm sure we will find out soon, her mom said. Nelvana imagined herself flying in the sky, or talking to animals, or even breathing underwater. Don't you think those are really cool superpowers? I like, I think I liked I'd be able, I think I'd like to be able to breathe underwater. What about you? The days began to grow colder, but that didn't stop Nelvana from going to the playground to play with her friends. One day, Nelvana saw her friend Mata swinging so high that it looked like she was going to loop around the swing set. Nelvana and her friends all stared at Mata, amazed. Then suddenly, Mata was flying from the swing. She landed so far away that Nelvana was sure that Mata had flown through the air. You can fly! You can fly! Nelvana said. Mata smiled widely. Really? she asked. Of course! Nelvana said. If you keep practicing, Someday you'll be able to fly all the way around the world. You know, that does look very impressive. And I know a few things about swinging around from place to place. When Nelvana went home that day, she told her mom about the amazing flying girl she had seen at the playground. She was flying? Her mom asked. Well, she was jumping very far, Nelvana explained but I think she'll be able to fly for real if she keeps trying. Nelvana started jumping around the house, off the couch and the tables, trying to see if she could be like Mata. I don't think your superpower is flighting, flying, Panik, her mom said. But don't worry, we'll figure out what your special talent is soon. The next day, Nelvana and her friends brought their sleds to the big hill next to their school to go sl sliding. Nelvana's cousin, Jonasi, was already at the top of the hill building an Anuksuk all across the top of the hill. There were snow sculptures of animals and snowmen and even a whole igloo. Jonasi, did you make these? Nelvana asked. Yup, he said. All of them. Even that polar bear right there. It was easy. What else can you make, she asked. Anything. I can make a caribou and maybe even a monkey. I can make things out of rocks and even ice. Is it your superpower to make things? Nalvana asked. Can you build whatever you can think of? Yup, he replied. I can build anything. Nelvana told her mom all about Jonasi's power, superpower. Panik, didn't you know that Jonasi's dad has that superpower too? Jonasi is going to be a carver, just like his father. Does that mean I might have that superpower too? Nelvana asked. I have never tried to build anything before. Why don't you try it out? Her mom asked. Nelvana tried to build an Inuk soup out of her blocks, but it fell over. She tried to make a house out of her Legos, but it was too hard. She sighed. I guess it's not my superpower. Her mom hugged her tight. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon, Panik. Nelvana kept finding friends who had superpowers whenever she went out to play. When she went swimming in the spring, she met a boy named Adami who could hold his breath underwater longer than anyone else. They were playing games in the water, and Nelvana wanted to see who could hold their breath the longest. She thought she had been under the water for minutes, but after she ran out of breath to come up to the surface, Adami stayed underwater for much longer. When he finally came up, Nalvana said, You can hold your breath for a really long time. That must be your superpower. Do you think so? Adami said. I know so, Nalvana said. Cool, Adami said. 
It's like I'm half fish. Nelvana was happy for her friends. They had all found the things that they were good at. She liked to tell them that they had superpowers, and she liked to see them smile. They all seemed so happy to have a special talent. But Nelvana wished she knew what her superpower was. Any guesses so far? Have you figured out what her superpower is? Anana, Nalvana said when she came home from school one day, I still don't know what my superpower is. Am I ever going to figure it out? Her mom gave her a big smile. I think you know, I think I know what your superpower is, Panik, she said. It's the minute we've all been waiting for. I can't wait to find out. Nalvana looked up at her mom, excited, but confused. What is it? Can I fly like Mata? Or am I really strong? No, Panuk. Can't you see? Her mother asked as she hugged Nalvana close. Your superpower is making people feel good about themselves. Nalvana smiled. I think that's a good superpower to have, she said. The end. What did you think of that story? I think that's a really good one. Do you think that's your superpower as well, making people feel good? I've been told that I do the same thing even if I have my spider powers. We all hope to see you at the Fall River Public Library. Bye everyone, thank you for watching. <laughs>